decided to go for this link as he kind of feels like he has to fight however silencer oh blizzy oh, he finds silencer emerging down to half hp already and actually x looking to blink him with a stun available here. needs to be killed the blood is going to be there and immersion it won't connect on him now the rupture's going to come out nix still trying to chase down but won't be able to move too much further now bzz finds the target on the side crystallized low on hp already needs to move away from this i might turn around the toss back Sparta, are they going to be turned on him? Nyx actually dies, and BZZ, he can't run away quick enough. The Blood Red's going to be there. He'll use the Serene Crush, but it won't change the outcome. Jew, hit up, and killed off by the Winner's Curse. So they get... Oh, tiny. So young. Shooting. Oh, yeah, Blizzy went in pretty hard. They find the Merchant. No Winner's Curse is going to be available. He's too dead. Too fast. Now, there's the Winner's Curse in return. Come around, Slardar. The control of the Weaver as well. Chris Lai's looking to go work here. The BKB is going to be there. Now the buyback coming out. Meanwhile, Nyx is jumping the back line. Look at all this Sparta. Can they do this? Magical. Going to be down to half HP. The BKB is going to come out. There's the Winner's Curse finally. But no one being caught inside it. Two in the base will fall. But they still haven't dealt with the cause. They'll finally turn around and find Bloodseeker, though. And they just have to run away. Magical unable to assail his opponents. And Taneko in the tree line. He's gonna just dodge out the swarm, but they see him. He, it's done. Right? Why would your pubs be any different? Oh, look at this oh. smoke, though. Seneco, he's got a black hole opportunity. If they stack up a little bit, the Blood Rite's gonna connect on the Misha. He hasn't used the Global Science yet. Now Nick's going deep. He wants to get rid of the threat straight away. Seneco will fall. Meanwhile, Chris Light chasing forward. We'll get hit off by the Winner's Curse. And Nick's thrown across here, but with the rupture on top and won't care too much. BKB comes out with Chris Light. We'll turn to fight. Can they get through him quick enough? The Golden Brace to buy time. Magical in the back, but the Global Science finally coming out. Misha's dead. BZZ down to half HP already. Needs to move away from Magical and they'll turn around. The BKB Nyx. He might burn up here. He's going to die. Triple kill with Magical. Hunting for more. He blinks forward. Immersion will fall as well. They're in the base. They are ready to hit buildings. The creep wave not quite with them yet. And, and the pause. Snake goes like, sorry. Sorry, guys. Black. That's the only reason I didn't get a five man black hole. Now, about oh, magical because he's moving bot. He sees that Snake is being charged by Immersion. Now, they have a strike forced into magical here, bashes him through the tree. And now, the horn's gonna come out. Looking to move forward. Where's the target? Go straight on Amisha. Crystallize should be able to burn this down pretty quickly. Nothing can do. Meanwhile, Nyx going in pretty deep. Gets hit up by Nyx with a stun. One life down. Buyback's gonna come out from Mishi. He needs to get involved very quickly on the back foot. BZZ just being ran down by Crystallize here. Can't even get a good poison over out. Now, the Chain Frost bouncing across. Misha's gonna get low on HP, but Snake will be finished off a stun up on Nyx. This is like down. He gets killed off twice. The buyback, the dieback from the Nature's Prophet. And LTW will walk home without any teammates. There is in the rotation. They are still sticking it, mid, but it's I don't. hard when you when you smoke as five. It's very hard to, to, to get kills. Oh, Seneco gets found though. Media Hammer's gonna be there, but it won't be needed. They're able to clean up the kill. TP in by Blizzy. Never strikes gonna heal him. He's gonna be protected somewhat. The horn's now gonna be there. They need to retreat. Chris Light just cutting the back line. Looking on Demetra. Maybe the sun's coming out. LTW. Can they get him to question? Misha getting low. They're just all burning up to the spectre. The blade mail as well. They don't have the opportunity to attack. Misha's going to tick out. RTW might go as well. But now the Vortex is going to be a turnaround opportunity. They'll find it. The double impale afterwards. Vengeance must be had. Nyx will fall. RTW gets smashed in the face by the side. And on the side, BZZ helpless to help his own team because he can't even help himself. Two of them even. Sophia doesn't want to get too close to Iceberg. Gotcha, it's fine. So they have to go for the solo echo. Second one's still available, but no, he's just dead. And oh, he went back. back. He's just going to right click down by Silent. We'll die to the supernova. Dahak next on the list with a dunk down. Three heroes down for the count. GG is called. Even as Alpha Ninja comes in, at the very least, he got no fear. A dominating performance. The last blood that they'll ever spill in this game. Percy. Puppy pauses are just. Just very uh, characteristic of this uh, series thus far. We have the pause on the first blood on the Enchantress opportunity. And Enchantress decides to skill her uh, attendance and gets it off to live. This one, this is, you know, this is make or break right now. Here we go. Yeah, we'll see how this fight turns out. I think he does get the boat off. We'll connect onto Silent as well as Undying. Comes right on the front. Also Scythe down, so part of the damage done already. Down already here, AWF, another tombstone in a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, in the back, silence. Well, it's a big damage source here. Everyone's kind of slowed down by the ice wall, but that's the Aegis on the sideline. Spectre, oh, Dominic. almost it again here with less of damage. Just starting to chew through some multi heroes. AWF still alive. Picking down up on NJ. Sooner or later, with Iceberg. <laughs> he's got well, he's 60 skeletons. Oh, literally all of the zombies here, and eventually Necropos is out of utility. He'll be brought down again. Two babies have already been used. Not sure about the snowball, though. King are completely alone. Can, just gonna be turned around on. Right click to death. Miscommunication is real. It's another tornado after the silence in the Sunstrike. Uh, uh, secure double kill for Iceberg. Alpha Ninja. Yeah, okay, that's what he called it. 
And uh, there is no Roshan attempt anymore, and they will scan it, and uh, Ghostic positioning himself on this high ground does need to be careful. Has the Blade Metal just going to jump in here, but there's a BKB from V2 and immediately onto Boronir, so he can't find the initiation. Now in the back lines, they're going onto the wall, but that will freeze him up, and now comes the ultimate. It's onto the Io. They're going to kill Lel. No, he just about survives, but there comes a hit in from the Weaver to finish him off. Now DZ is going to drop in the middle of this fight as uh, Slayer just trying to do the damage onto these rooms, and there's the jewel coming out onto the Weaver. They take him down. Ghostic finds to kill onto Swift Ending, and now they're finishing off these Brewmaster Brulings. Mitch, though, comes out of the Brewmaster form. He's just sprinting away from this one. I'm not even sure they're going to chase. And there comes Slayer once again with the BM. And now, dull damage on General and the Dragon Form. Oh my god, look at these, <laughs> look at these racks. There's not people. What racks? So and right. now BKB up onto the high ground with the Taunt. They're going to get DNZ down. Dual victory for Ghost Stick. Up to 84 damage now. LeBron, he's had a pretty great time in the trees over here, just throwing down this slope. There's a uh, Weaver ruptured up, but can they find the damage to finish him off? The toss into the air from his teammate. Yes, he does go down with the fear. Fear June is chasing. He's going crazy on this Bloodseeker right now. As he finds another one, it's a triple kill for the new kid on the block. And GG well played is cool. Game number actually. The Illusion Rune gonna come up, spots out Ghost Stick, gonna cancel his blink as well if he wanted to try anything like that. They have the Haunt available on the side of Odium, but it's too late. Boronia picks up that Aegis, and now they can go for a fight. Jumping on a Lilho, can they kill him before he gets the Elysium? Yes, he can. Chopped down. Now Wraith King dropping very low. Boronia, not even interested. Um, no, we'll drop. He was invis. And um, now Boronia, stun comes out. Bot lane, Slayer is going to drop those wards. Meanwhile, Ghostic, he's dead. No surprises there. Now they've got General thrown up into the air as the stun comes through from Boronia, popping that ulti, and General just going to town. Meanwhile, down at bottom, they chase down Slayer. Swift ending does find that kill. Can he kill these snakes in time before they take tier 3? He can't, but he won't lose racks or anything, and I think... Jesus. He has to be patient and just wait for his chemical rage, though, before they really go high ground again here. Agreed. But he gets a tier 1, though. Oh, Boronier jumping up though, he's so patient, he says, let's go kids, right up onto the high ground, snakes drop, nimbus drop, they throw out everything, the whole kitchen sick, and now phantom lords are actually doppelgangers in to Brewmaster, but Brewmaster able to get that ulti up in time, the oh, oh no, Boronier dropping so quickly though, with the spirit that's a lot of and everything, he's gonna go down, Boronier is dead, LeBron is dead, TNT is dead, v fighting up versus Swift Ending, but Swift Ending does not stand a chance, as down goes the phantom lancer and ODM, they take all five, with Yep. Yep, this is a very important part of the map as they jump forwards and they're going straight on to D and Z here. The curse is out on to the Alchemist as he is in deep. Now Slayer's coming in, they've got to get the shackles off. Alchemist controlled so much. It does find the ultimate though. Lil bought down on the back lines and now Slayer destroyed as well. The supports on Odium are not surviving it out. Boronia, just the absolute raid boss in this fight, takes down V2. Case the illusions are dealing with Ghostic. The Double. Jesus. Now, General, he's going to be followed through just from the supports bullying him. And uh, Boronier says, hello, Lil. Just find another one. <laughs> oh, that didn't get him. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll we'll finish him off all the same. I'm done as well, but looks like it's not going to be in time to go and take this fight. Although, Hesta Joe oh, could man. make a Timing. big play here. Is he thinking about it? They have the oh, jump and the hook stop on the four. They're relocating it as well. The combo is there. The Echo Slam, though. Roger interrupting it on the side. Great combination there. Isolates the Gyrocopter and the Io. Hesta Joe is gone, and it looks like the rest of Team Spirit might go down as well. The long duration disarm. They do get Io out, but they lost the Gyro. Dominating. So Holy close. crap. Oh, and he dies. Oh, Ramsey just chucks FNG in. Oh, man. It's the Flak. Then decides to back away, although he turns now. Biver not really taking any damage at all. They get the radial disarm onto several. Solo brought down to about two-thirds HP, and now well, they're going to send back FN. It looks like everybody should escape from this one, although Nine shows up, and they force the BKB pop from no one as he got hit by that combination, and Better God's Wrath not quite going to be enough. They do break the TP of Roger, and it looks like it's going to be one 13-13. He goes for the jump away. Actually living. The Aghanim Scepter's still pretty good to keep that guy alive for the moment. Although, while we're all talking about this, it is the last set of Tier 3 Towers and Barracks starting to fall for Virtus Pro. They jump in, want to take them down. Can they kill him off in time? They kill off the Gyrocopter. Biver forced to go for the jump away. Sunstrike's going to be there. So, too, will Roger. And Team Spirit actually starting to lose several heroes. They also catch themselves nine. 
drops down the Nimbus on top of himself. The toss away. It's the lift up right there for a moment. On to Hestajo. Gyrocopter buys back. Ios buys back. They decide that they want to try and take this fight right now for themselves. Where's the relocate coming to? Actually holding on to it for the moment. Instead deciding to chase down Ramses. Roger has another opportunity here. If they can take down one. Oh, it was so close. He gets the jump away, but dies in air. No one turns yet again. The BKB is out, but Skyder's starting to deal the damage. He kills off no one. He's going to try and chase down FN. They buy back on Invoker. Have themselves FN caught again on this Morphling. Swapping back. Now FNG, Glimmer Cape. They get all the vision in the world, but it is only FN in the pit. There's the jump in from Roger. The initiation is going to be there. They find the torrent as well. It's a silence again onto the Wraith King. They have the Winter's Curse, but it's onto a solo Kunkka's BKB. This entire time, he's perfectly fine with this. Tidebringer damage comes out. They were trying to isolate heroes on the other side with the Panda ulti and no one's still living. They have Blink Black Hole waiting for everybody to get grouped up together. Ramsey's up on the high ground, jumps into it, able to find it. This is going to be a second jump as Nine actually starting to lay into FN, but the Evil Scepter lift up, still living for the moment. They don't have buyback on the Kunkka, and they actually kill off the PL. Oh, they caught them both with the fissure! Oh, great play from Biver. The Echo Slam came back up and somehow, some way, Team Spirit wiped them all. I think Ramsey's uh, Refresher Shire dropped as well. And that'll be on their Zeus. They're chasing on multiple fronts here. They've got the PL all alone. The Echo, the Enchant Totem, everything. He's gone. Well, that, that does seem to follow the plan you had laid out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now they have another one. The buyback there from FN. Seeing if they can take the fights. Oh, the big crit coming from no one. Find a kill. But it's dangerous going. He's not able to spot him. Right, this does is kind of bad. They're not all here. They might kill a couple Team Spirit heroes. Stun comes through. They have them caught in this Winter's Curse, and Earth Spirit going to die. They jump in with Biver. Everybody falling, and the black hole to try and turn it. It's not quite catching on to everybody, though, but it might be enough. FN on top of them all. Oh, no one's Gitter. gone. Also it's all Ramsey's in FN. Oh, no. And Ramsey's yeah, that's going to be <laughs> the problem. No more BKB. No more black hole. He buys back again. He's level 25, FN. though. He Manta. Do it. They need to run. They need to escape, but oh, it's not going to happen. They're going to be able to find the hook stomp to start it all out. They've got him controlled. No one wanting to take down one, but who are they going to get? They end up oh, this black hole. In this. Or are they going to get it on to three? Great combo, but they have the egg that's going to follow. It's starting too much damage, though, onto the rest of them. Biber gets the heal up, actually. They do manage to find the Sun 9, deals the Thunder God's Wrath damage, but it's not nearly enough. Hook stomp on to two. Can they kill him off, though? Has to Joe. Not enough. They lose four. Again, moving forward, uh, miss there on the hook stomp and down to almost no HP in a couple of seconds. Another Winter's Curse. Ramsey's thinking about jumping in to follow it up if they want to get it. Black Hole on to three. That is going to be most likely GG. They're going to buy back on a couple. So they won't have Black Hole for the next second round of this fight. They do have the Fissure that connects. They take him down once. Can they do it again? They do still have whole lot of defensive abilities, but the Echo Slam right off the bat. There's the Force Staff trying to control this guy. He's cold embraced for the moment. The skeleton's still on him, but there's going to be the zip away. Tier 3 tower being assaulted. They found themselves the Earthshaker trying to kill him off. The hook stomp does catch again. But Ramsey's there with the Malefist. Storm Spirit still living, and he is going to survive through it all. Jumps away. The damage not dealing it out. The Radiance and kills him. They knew this was the answer they needed, but they buy back on the Undying. Storm Spirit is immediately alive again. As they chase forward with the Radiance damage, they are going to jump in with Storm. Try and find himself this Earthshaker yet again. They find themselves the kill there. Skitter almost dead as well. And the building eventually going to fall. This Tombstone has been around forever. A nice stun. Supernova, though, is not going to be able to survive as FN hits into it. And now they turn again onto 9. This Zeus controlled. Going to be killed off. Another Tombstone down after the first one evaporates. And all dead. GG called. Do that and... Well, there's the overgrowth, the skewer back in. They are going to be able to get the RP out, but it's only on to one. The damage is being dealt, but is it going to be enough? Having already lost the tree and the Spectre completely isolated away from the rest of the teammates, the heals are not going to be enough. They managed to find the kill. FN very low for Magical, and they do manage to get the Reaper Scythe off. That kills this Ember as well. Yeah, and so there's things no starting to turn around. No one won't be here for this fight. Uh, so the buyback on the PL and the Lena, the question is, is that a waste now? 
an LRP available either. They take down Roshan and they jump forward. They will kill off Seneko, but Magical trying to take down Solo. He grips him on absolutely no HP. The sleep was on the other side of it, but they do manage to kill off that Bane. Still, Navi, a big win there. It ends up being about like a 7,000 gold swing or something. I think that it's also like this type of a lineup and the one that we saw in the last series too, where it's like that global scout that you have with Spectre, you have with Zeus. Um, granted, the haunt has not been used to scout necessarily as much as there is a grip. There's no Aegis here. They need to break this one, but it is magical that gets broken instead. And Necro's still living for the moment. And crystallized, trying to run in. They take down the tree. Two cores still left alive from Navi, but the Necro eventually going to be killed off. Snako going to TP out of there, and it looks like Crystallize should be able to escape. Although walking back in towards the rest of them and actually just going to be found. Oh, that's so bad. He just got like 2k experience already in this fight on the PL as he's edging closer and closer to 25. Okay. Catch nation. <laughs> Necro moving up. That's a great ward there, scouting all this. They got him caught here, and that is... Whew. Very dead Ramses. He did get the call down in, and Solo is here as well. They've got the boat, the X. It's going to pull back in on the magical, and the haunt is there for the follow up as well as Crystallize wants to try and take down Roger. Tethered up to no one, though. He's getting that bonus movement speed in from the boat. Looks like they might have to call off the charge. I mean, they do have another dagger here in oh, a second. The current by Carapin, the turn around. They find it. There's Solo able to find the kill. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Courier has been so good for Virtus Pro today. First, shows up with the BKB for Ramses to win a team fight, and this time the Tome comes through to get the guaranteed grip onto the Necrophos. They reveal themselves here. Shoot a little bit late with the Spike Carapace, and they manage to take over the Nightmare, but he switches it over to Ursa, actually. They take that one off after the fact. Magical slowed down. Doesn't have... He did have Decrep. Yeah, it came up a bit late, though. Crystallize also going to be stunned. Ursa on top of the Spectre, who's trying to hide away into the woods. And it looks like one more hit. Punch comes. FN not quite there. Blizzy. Reaper Scythe not online, but FN with the tower shots. And the last punch. I like it. Well, we'll see if we can burst through the first Aegis. They went for the initiation from Chu, but BP dodging away from it. Very well done. There's the tier three tower. It starts to fall. There's the abyssal blade. It happens in an instant. Magical down the haunt. A nice impale comes out from Chu. They're bringing him down low, but another save keeps Roger alive. And now Ramsey's unleashed. They have the grip on the Spectre. They can't see him for a moment, but eventually going to be able to find that kill. Buyback from Spectre. No buyback there for Magical. And GG is just going to be called. Evil okay, net worth bleed. Coddle, oh, running in. The, ah! the chase forward, the Dagon. 80. <laughs> There's the Abyssal Blade to try and turn it. Overgrowth. Can they kill Break King too? He does have his ultimate up. Oh, yeah. missed there on the Tidebringer. Yule Scepter. Wraith King is not moving to that many places. Invoker is here too. The lift up. On the other side of it also, they've got themselves one. This is Weaver in some trouble with the Hex to keep him alive. There wasn't a nullifier or anything. Look at how long the Sprout is left. Oh, that's Joe. Goes north. They went south. The Cold Snap's there. Almost able to get this guy. The Sprout not going to connect with BZZ. The uh -huh. time on Tessa Joe eventually killed off. Trying to take him down, but it's not going to happen as of yet. Smoke up. Ready to move in. Seeing if they can find a kill. Hester Joe going to back out the last second. There's the jump forward. Good initiation coming from the Wraith King. Can they kill off this Nature's Prophet? He jumps away and lives. Sprout a little bit off the mark. Tense moment. And a couple of skills being missed. Very key play as they go with the E-Blade. BZZ still controlled. Four staffed away. Eight seconds until the Aeon Disc. It's not going to be there in time. He falls. No buyback. Two minutes. All right, and Team Spirit, though. smelling blood. They have the Tornado throwing out there. Misha could go for some backdoor rat plays if he needs to, but they're also thinking about trying to keep a hold of this last Tier 3 tower. The Echo Slam, they jump in, they find him. Nyx gets they're the BKB on the turnaround. They got him, they take him down they're with a big crit coming in from Kunga. They kill him off the second round with the Tidebringer oh cooldown. They're able to find that kill. And now, can they do anything else? AC picked up by that Nature's Prophet. He wants to go for ending this game, possibly, because he realizes they can't hold on long enough without this. LTW is coming in. He wants to find that Weaver, but he's going to get stunned. 
Have to use his ulti to try to fall back here. Oh, wait. The wraparound yes. coming. Look at Misha. He's got him. That's the end. Is Pac, though, and now he's getting defused away. They got him cold. They got him killed. Misha's dead. They buy back on the invoker. It came back off of cooldown. The way he's making its way into the base. Backs up against the wall. They root them all. Just trying to hold out while the creeps are starting to pressure in, like you said. Guys, right now, the rank don't have any vision aside from that top ward. So they don't actually know if they're over here, they're playing up here. I mean, uh, Tornado will fly out, so they'll know now if they see the... Yeah, they'll see the Forge Spirits. And if Coddle moves over this position, yeah, you see they're staying together so tightly knit now. And they spot out BZZ. He is initiated upon, has the Aeon Disc still. He can blink away unless they can get the perfect chain stun out. And still living for the moment. ILCW shows up, he finds the kill. That's big on a Viber. Double Meteor down all into two, and can they kill him off in time? They're gonna lose the tree. No buyback on any of the Dire Heroes at the moment. Also, the Nature's Prophet, Misha, trying to find fights, but where's he TPing back to? Bait to the base, almost gets the catch there, almost finds the control. BZZ back into this one. Need to run away, LTW trying to chase down onto this Coddle. They end up finding him right within range, and Misha able to find that kill. That's no it, it, Coddle for two minutes. Dead. They also find themselves another one here. They're going to be able to take down three. Okay, Kunkka buys back, needs to get into this fight here. And thinking about TPing onto it, BZZ is eventually going to fall. So that's two heroes from both teams without buyback. Jump in, Abyssal Blade, ILTW, Popsy and Rage trying to run away. The status resistance should bring him back up in just a second, but he's broken. And now the Ghost Ship Fleet is going to come through and they find the kill. That's the... Well, yeah, they got him while the ulti was still down. Well, how much is it going to cost them this time? They're moving in. Already take down one. It looks like that could be the extent of it. And upon how... Bottom move. The, the centaur just comes down the stairs. Oh no. And Reaper Sight, they find one, but there's the Echo Slam to follow it. They get the Fissure that's blocking off oh, the body blocks. as well. They got him caught. The Yule Scepter lift up. Game is oh so hard, and a triple kill for nine is going to secure it. The alley you pal B, but the Yule's is straight away onto Magical. He still gets that BKB off, and now the ulti from FNG just to keep the Weaver still oh, burning yes. down. That BKB is the plan. Meanwhile, Hestager looking to come back in, skips it as well. Meanwhile, on the back lines, they do find the Earth Spirit, and now the attention turns onto Magical. Can they bring him down in time? Yes, they can. Magical is going to drop. Soneko. Can they chase for more, or are they going to go back towards Roshan? Meanwhile, Chu sitting in the trees. He's actually got the Echo Slam. The back is up in five seconds as well. Expect him to start walking towards the roach, but straight away. Down goes the silencer. Team Spirit looking to capitalize on this win. But Navi aren't done. They're coming back in. They have the Echo Slam and they want to make use of it. And now the storm comes out. Oh no! Chu baited out. He drops the echo onto nobody inside the Roach Pit. And now Chris Slice is going to drop as well. Blizzy with the BKB walking away. A Team Spirit even bothered about this guy. They're even going to chase him. Well, looks like they, they, they want to they wanna take a piss of risk it. He has got the Aegis, but uh, still not worth throwing away for nothing. But looking towards mid lane, wants to use a Silver Edge onto the Bristle back. But Chu catches him with the Echo Slam straight away. And now the Global Silence comes out and they take down Chu in response. As Team Spirit start the fight fight off with a kill. And now in the middle of it all, Hester Joe going to throw up the Crystallize here. Crystallize going to not be able to get the time lapse off. They finally bring him down as Nine comes in with the Dragon Slave. Now looking for more though. Skitter is getting pretty low. But Team Spirit holding on to all of their heroes for now. As Nine, now the BKB runs off. But he's also got this Aegis, so he doesn't really mind dropping. Meanwhile, Magical pops his own BKB Blizzy. with the back line, so They're trying to go onto the Bristle. They've They're broken on him with the Silver Edge, and now they'll finish him off. Everybody dropping so low on Team Spirit, but no one dying except for Bither. Blizzy buys back, coming back into this fight. FNG is going to drop. They take the Aegis on the Lina as well. Lina going to respawn, but I've got a feeling there's no way out of this one, as all of a sudden, Navi just turned that fight. There's a quick deny from the Lina. Uh, tiny being the only down like the Tiny or something, and then it's not great versus uh, Brood because a lot of the damage comes from the spiders, but Nine just going to go and drop the ulti onto the brood now, but in comes the Spectre following it up. Meanwhile, the egg to drop. Now Crystallize fighting it up versus Nine, because the brood has fallen. Crystallize really wants to get revenge for his friend. Meanwhile, Hester Joe in the back lines is able to find two kills, and a third one doesn't actually go down. I thought he was going to drop there. Now, Crystallize, well, he's going to try and turn this one around, but it's just not going to happen. There's my high ground issues, my Pharah. There's a, there they are. Starts to get an echo off. He's probably going to just try and go for a YOLO one here, but... Why not? Oh, gets Avalanche, no chance, and tossed back into the uh, Broodmother. 
He's got the echo. I'm surprised he's not using it. Oh, he has buyback. Okay. Uh, now an egg has crystallized, diving the fountain right now. He's got the enrage. The echo slam is dropped. The stuns are out. They're trying to kill Earth inside the zone. He tosses back the Phoenix. Tiny, what are you doing? Now, well, they're trying to turn around as the lead. As the uh, Spectre just got buyback. Now jumping into this fight, trying to fight it up versus Crystallize, but Crystallize is there. The damage is just too much. Down goes Skitter for the final time, as GG is called. The Echo in the mid lane. It was, he used it right at the end just to secure the kill. Really well played by Skitter and a great find by the Earthshaker there, Biver. It's, uh... Storm has no buyback. He's dead for 30 seconds, so Team Spirit here. They don't know that though, so they have to be careful about pushing high ground, but they should feel confident with the Aegis on the Spectre. Oh my god, the cataclysms! Killing spree. A dominating performance. Double kill. Whatever that was. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Do you know what's better than a, a Chen send back on the storm? The, uh, the Blood Rage storm. Mega kill. In the eye of the storm. I'm over here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Did we get out? Oh, nice yours. Okay. Oh, the Ursa in the pit. Spectre has horn and buy back horn. They need to be careful. Oh, the Fisher. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Killing spree. Impossible kill. Oh, <laughs>